The TurtleBot 4 is the newest generation of the world's most popular open source robotics platform. It is a great mobile robot that allows roboticists to focus on development. It is also very popular among ROS2 users because it supports it natively out of the box. Hi, this video is a short introduction to the TurtleBot 4 and its main components. So let's dive in. The components are the Raspberry Pi and the iRoboCreate 3 platform. The first component is its mobile base, the iRoboCreate 3 platform. It is the foundation for the TurtleBot 4, providing the essential mobility and hardware interfaces already integrated with ROS2. It comes with iRobot's tested motors, as well as a variety of sensors, like cliff, bump, and infrared sensors. The Create 3 also comes with a rechargeable battery and an integrated docking server that takes care of auto charging with a simple ROS2 action call. It's worth noting that the Create 3's CPU is inaccessible, except for a web server where some configuration can be done. Don't worry, we'll go over it as well. The brain of the TurtleBot 4 is its Raspberry Pi 4, which is in here. This provides the robot computational power and flexibility to develop software on the robot. The processes you will run here will have to communicate with Create 3, either through Wi-Fi or a USB cable. There is a LiDAR and a camera on the TurtleBot 4 that are actually connected to the Pi through USB. The Pi also provides better connectivity options like 5.2 GHz Wi-Fi, GPIO pins, Ethernet, and USB ports, and Bluetooth. Let's quickly go through the initial setup process and how we can access both hardware components of the robot for configuration. The first step is connecting to your Wi-Fi, which is very simple. First, turn the robot on by placing it on top of its docking charger. Then, connect to the Raspberry Pi's access point network. The initial default TurtleBot username is Ubuntu, and its IP address is 10.42.0.1. Finally, SSH into the Raspberry Pi and connect it to your network. This can be done through the TurtleBot 4 setup tool. Once you have connected the TurtleBot to your Wi-Fi, its local IP address will appear on the TurtleBot screen. You now have access to the Pi like any other server you might have in your local network. Both the Create 3 and the Raspberry Pi can be configured. Let's start with the Raspberry Pi. To configure the Raspberry Pi, use the TurtleBot 4 setup tools, which is already available in the Pi. The first element is to configure the ROS setup, mostly environment variables. The second element is Wi-Fi connections, same tool you used to connect to your Wi-Fi. And the third element is Bluetooth connections. We will delve into all of these in later videos. To configure the Create 3, open a web browser and connect to the Pi's address on port 8080. Here, you can configure the basis communication method, restarted, check its logs, and even setting some ROS2 parameters. We'll delve into all of these in later videos. Now that we know about the two components, 
we can think of how an autonomous navigation application would work in the TurtleBot 4. The sensor data collected from the LiDAR or the camera is processed on the Pi, which then must send velocity commands to the Create 3 based on what the sensors are detecting, all while receiving odometry from the Create 3. All of this can be done seamlessly through ROS2. And again, communication between the Raspberry Pi and Create 3 must happen through a USB cable. However, we'll see that sometimes it is not as straightforward as it seems, and some issues might hinder your development with the TurtleBot 4, especially dealing with DDS discovery, the underlying middleware infrastructure for ROS2, and the limitations of the Create 3 computing unit's ability to process said DDS information. Throughout this series, we will tackle these issues one by one in short, digestible videos. Thank you for watching our introduction to the TurtleBot 4 and its key components. Stay tuned for the next video in our series in which I will show you how to solve ROS2 topic discovery issues. Don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on for the next video of our series. See you next time.